Hi, this is Apostle Ross and Solomon again. Um, welcome to my TikTok channel and my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Ross and Solomon. It has over 700,000 followers. And I'm on Facebook, Prophetic Mantle. And then Ross and Solomon. I'm on Instagram, Ross and Solomon. Ross and Solomon dot underscore something. Ross and Solomon 71. Look for it. I just came back. I'm on Rumble as well. Um, and on Patreon, too. Uh, I just came back to teach y'all this real thing real, real quick. Um, when, and Father, thank you, and may this reach the person it's supposed to reach and sure thing. When you have reoccurring dreams of an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend or ex-lover or ex-spouse, um, and you don't understand why, that means you, that means you need to cut covenants and soul ties with them. Also, every person you ever had sex with, you're married to them spiritually. So it makes you an adulteress. So when you leave that relationship and go to another one and you have sex with that person, you become spiritually married to them. So that makes you an adulteress in the spiritual realm. And every time you have sex out of marriage, you become one and you become spiritually married. And this is why spiritual um, incubus and succubus demons can marry you. That's why some people have multiple incubus and succubus demons and it takes God over a decade or more to get a person delivered. It also means when you dream about your, your exes concurrently or every blue moon, it means that you have inherited, sorry y'all, it means that you have inha inherited, hold on, let me put this on there. Uh, that means that you inherited it, Her inherited things from that ex. So, like, when you sleep with them, they take on everything from you, and you take on everything from them. So, if they have any family curses, curses on them, witchcraft, bad luck, poverty, whatever it is, you have it. So, this is why some people can't get ahead in life, can't get a job, sometimes can't get married, or the marriage don't work, or your wound has been siphoned where you can't have babies because you inherited some things from the other person that you slept with or you was married to or whatever the case may be. Even, God forbid, if you was raped, you inherited what that man or woman has. Like, this is why a lot of kids grow up and they have a hard life because they were, um, you know, essayed or assaulted as a child, you know, Babylonian stuff, Sodom and Gomorrah stuff, you know, and um, they're not taught that they need to break the covenant and soul ties with their uh, predator. And they also need to cancel out the inheritance that they receive from them, going all the way back to Adam and Eve, their mother and father's side, their parents' side, it's God's parents' side, and incarnated lives and reincarnated lives, right? And cancel it out, invoke the blood against it, provoke the blood against it, condemn it, disallow it, reject it, deject it, render it powerless and helpless against them. And the word of Yah speaks against it, and the blood of sure Jesus goes against it. And it will never manifest spiritually or physically or physically, spiritually or spiritually or physically ever again. Because they, they, they canceled it out. They repented for being an adulteress. They repented for being a fornicator. And then they can go to the courts and ask God to alleviate them from this, all, all spiritual marriages um, for every man or woman they've ever been with. You know, whether it was a one-night stand, whether... Um, you lust for them because the lust of the heart can make you an adulteress as well. So you ask God to divorce you from all those spiritual marriages that you didn't know you had. And that way you can be divorced from all incubus and succubus, no matter how many you have, right? Because the Bible says in the book of Daniel that, um, what is it, iron and clay cannot cleave. And these demons are made out of iron, right? Although they, they can be tangibly in the flesh, they're made out of iron. So the Bible says that they can't mix with us. And so you quote that. Father and name sure Jesus in the book of Daniels, it says that the iron cannot mix with the clay. So therefore, unmix my clay with the iron and unmix their iron with my clay. Now, by the blood of sure Jesus and the fire of the Holy Spirit, burn their iron out of me, out of my heart, mind, body, soul, spirit, chakra, ligaments, bones, brain, heart, flesh, sexual rooters, all of that, burn them out, burn them out of my spiritual life as well, burn them out of my mind, my spiritual mind, burn the iron out, because your word says they are not, cannot, it doesn't say they are not, it says they cannot mix with us, Father, so I use your word, 
I repeat your word to you, Father, for you to deliver me, say this, for you to deliver me from any incubus or succubus marine kingdom demons that refuse to let me go in your shoes, nay. They have no choice. And Father, it says in the word that you don't go against our will unless it's absolutely necessary. The only thing we can't do is take a life. So Father, these demons go against our will. So therefore, they are already in um, illegal status because they're going against our will. So anything that goes against our will must be judged and destroyed. So we ask you to judge and destroy these demons. Father, as you untie us, unwoven us, unwoven us, um, cut the cords from them, the covenants, the soul ties, blood covenants, flesh covenants, uh, sexual covenants, marital covenants, and anybody that witnessed any marriage in the spiritual realm, all dreams we had of being married or having weddings that was not from you, Father. These things are all nullified. These things are all canceled with the blood of Yeshua Mashiach. He just got some answers. Anything that we inherited from the incubus and succubus demons, we reject it, we renounce it, denounce it, render powers up against us, invoke the blood against it, provoke the blood against it, the word of Yah speaks against it, the blood goes against it, the fire of the Ruach goes against it. It will never manifest again from the spiritual to the physical, physical to spiritual, spiritual to physical, ever again, Father, in Yeshua's name. So all curses we inherited from the marine demons and from all men and women that we once slept with or lust for, Father, is hereby null and void. It is removed from us. It is removed from our organs, our bones, our bodies, our finances, our lives, our careers, our destinies. Our destinies will no longer be siphoned. Our gifts will no longer be siphoned. Our marriages, future marriages will no longer be siphoned. Our children and future children will no longer be siphoned. Anything about us that you gave us and created in us and for us to have will no longer be siphoned anymore, Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, King Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And sister, thank you for writing these down and sending them to me. He's going to make my, my prayer book too. That prayer book, guys, is going to be almost 600 and some pages. It's going to be hard back. I'm probably going to have to charge about 50 bucks for it, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Trust me. It's like an encyclopedia of prayer. <laughs> I have a book out on Barnes and no Nobles called Fruitful Knowledge. It's a big book like that. It has so much knowledge in it. Y'all need to check it out. All right? So that's what I wanted to teach y'all so y'all could pray. And this is why you keep having reoccurring dreams about your exes. And if you ever did witchcraft on them to force them to love you, you have to cancel that and ask forgiveness for that. If you ever used a calabash part, pot and put their picture in with yours and tied it with a bow and buried it somewhere you gotta ask god to uproot it and destroy it you literally have to imagine yourself opening the calabash up taking a picture out handing it to Yah, so he could do what he do with it and then crushing that calabash or let's say you use the pan with honey you know because i have friends who do this stuff you use the pan with honey and all kinds of herbs and stuff you put his picture your picture whatever you got to do that. All tarot card readings you ever had for them or for yourself, you got to repent for that, cancel that. You have to repent for allowing a psyche or a witch to split your soul, your heart, and your mind when they split those cards and turning it over to Yadabov, a.k.a. Satan. You have to repent for that and ask God to put your soul and spirit. Father, put my soul and spirit and body back together as one, the way it was meant to be, the way it was born to be in Yeshua's name. And forgive me for doing all those things to go against you, to make you sad. Mama ruin you. She was sad to make you angry, to make you turn away from us, to make you to, to, to reject us and deject us and uh, for, forgive us for shaming ourselves before you, Father, and putting all these idols and living for the devil, Yadabaf in them, and not living for you, Father, in Yeshua's name. Shalom, y'all.